What's up everyone, I'm Lead Scalin, and I'd like to share with you an idea I had for an automated store using new hoppers, droppers, and comparators. So with the idea with this store is to sell enchanted books. So here I have the enchanted book name, a light, which indicates if I have any items in stock, and the item required to purchase said book. Now what you do is you come over to this chest here, and let's drop in a diamond and a diamond block. Now what we're buying here with the diamond block is looting and with the diamond is fortune. Those items then will be kicked out of here. And we just give it a second. Or a little more than a second. It does take a little while for the items to go through. Well there the items are coming out. And the lights are off. Letting you know that there are no more items in stock. I only had one book in there just to let you see that. And let's see the back here. We have a lot of hoppers, droppers, and some redstone going on. I have some note blocks down there as well. So let's see here. If we go ahead and jump down here, this line right through here, up, up top here, is the start. The um, the chest, I'm sorry, is up over here. You put your items in. They come down through here, down into this line, and fall down through there. If we do accept the item on, in this hopper here where we have the diamond ore if diamond ore were to fall into this hopper it would then go into this one if it goes into this hopper it'll tick to the 23rd item which will go out to two powering this repeater this block which powers this repeater which powers this block turning that torch off allowing the item to fall through to this hopper when that happens and this turns off it turns on this torch here which fires that dropper into this set of hoppers that falls all the way down here and through to the dropper up here which kicks it out now inside here we do have a couple item um, elevators here and those are just used to move the items upwards this one here is the chest where if we do not have the item for the, the item that you put in there if we do not accept it for currency it will go into these droppers up into the outline and kick it out right there then if you jump up top here you can see all these repeaters going in a single line each one is what powers the lights up front and if one's off the light up front is off that's pretty much all there is to it it's actually fairly simple to build we can run over here where I already dug out to start building this over here so what we want to do first is dig out this is for a nine wide so I dug out six deep eight wide and then and it's extra one so we can set chests up here where we can grab our items we want to use a chest every other one and then we're going to use a trap chest for the in-between ones just so we can set the chest together now if we come back here we want to set up oh, I gotta get it out here a block on the bottom so we can put torches on them these will control the bottom hopper to to let the items through or not when they get powered so we do that we'll go ahead and on the back here we'll set up the repeaters here which will turn this these blocks on or off then we set these hoppers up here directly into the chest which will kick the items out into those chests then we want to set up a block on top of, I'm sorry on top of the chest here then we can bring it back this will be for the hoppers in the top row or I'm sorry the middle row which will actually be our currency we want them facing into this block I don't have to be holding shift to do that we want them facing into this block so we can um, not have them go anywhere except for where we want them to go if we were to face down into this hopper here regardless of what passed in it would drop into here I'm sorry, regardless of what this power state is, the item would flow right into here regardless because the hopper was connected to it. With the hopper being in front like that, it doesn't cause that. So the items will flow through and only get accepted into these if we accept that item as currency. So what we can do is set up some wool here. We've got our magenta. We just need 18 in the front here and then one in each row. That gives us 22 items and we just keep doing that down the line here 
I like to set this up early on, otherwise you're coming back down and doing it. You could do that too, but it's just easier to set them up to begin with. So let me finish filling all these up here. It takes a few here to fill all these up and get everything set up. But like I said, it's a fairly simple build. Oh, not a lot to it. Since we did that, let's leave one out. We'll just use that one. Otherwise, I mean, it won't tick yet because we don't have all that set up. We just take it out. It's not too big of a deal. If you had it set up now, it would tick and kick out an item on you. But easily fixed. Oh, let's see here. Drop all of these in. We're almost done with this. Go ahead and do it that way first. And there's <laughs> using the uh, sorry the new um, wow I can't think today sorry the new command block to set my time to zero when it when the daylight sensor ticks on or ticks off I'm sorry so let's finish setting these up Matt we'll just use that one all right and then here we want to go ahead and set up three blocks not four and we will put two droppers facing up here like that and we will go ahead and put a comparator off of this bottom one into a block into a oh, well, if I can get it out there into a repeater right here which will then just flow into here like so and then oh, we want a block here then a repeater on two ticks with redstone there that will power this now if something goes into here which we can just demonstrate it will tick out and jump up there and we have it back in our inventory now with that we can start the line here of our accepting or of our I guess not accepting our intake here let me jump down one get up here because it's going to be hard to do since I have to hold shift to do these ones and then we just run this line all the way over here towards us where we want to set this down and put one up one into it and then we'll just grab a chest and drop it there then what we want to do set a block here and we will put our dropper there that's the dropper to kick it out and our intake now that will start to work already if we put an item in there that we don't accept like this diamond here it will come out right over here takes a few seconds to get it in there and you saw it tick so now let's finish this part over here we'll set down another row here that's going to be for our comparators then another row up top there then we will put one down here. Now we come up here, we'll go, oh, let's not break that. We'll go ahead and add our comparators here. Um, this would be easier flying. And you can see they're already kicking out a signal because I we already set up those items. Let's go ahead and put down redstone here. They each come out one. This, ne oh, this next one won't be powered, which is okay. Now we'll go ahead and set down another row here of repeat for repeaters oh, we don't want that guy set up repeaters here then in front of these repeaters we want to put a block and this we're just going to run torches up so we can just set those down there grab another or grab our block again set it on top and oh, let me get rid of that and bring it down we're gonna fall all right now this part we want to add our torches every other one on the top oh, I said every other one here let's do that and then we will do these last ones here on the bottom and then we will add a block on top of those these blocks are where our droppers will sit here like that and then we will set them on top of these torches oh and then we will go ahead and add 
a block here. Oh, here, break this one out. Break that because I want to put that down. Oh, we didn't need to break that. That's okay. We do need to break that one. Add that there. Break those two. Add that there. All right. Now that we have those set up, let's go ahead and put in our comparators on these. These will power our lights, whether we have them on or not, if we have items. Now let's go ahead and just break these out because we want to make it look pretty and continue on with our color pattern so we know what blocks not to break later on when we're doing this. These just go into torches, which then go into blocks. Click on another dropper. And then more torches on top. <laughs> this part is the fun part, let me tell you. This is running for all the lights there. So you see we're going to put up another set here. These ones, however, will have half slabs running off of them. break that one there. Now on these ones we will grab this half slab and go on top of this torch and click there and then we will oh, top and we will run it out like this oh. there we go alright hey that was pretty nice Alright, so there we have that, and I guess I will jump down. We can run this out. We need to build our front panel real quick, and we will put in our hoppers to run the system over to here. Now, because of the way this is set up, we are going to have to lift this up one more before putting it in there. And we're going to do that over here to not interfere with this hopper or any of that. So, let's go ahead and do that. What we will do first is this since this runs from over here we will start over here and we'll put these down we'll put three there and then we're gonna put our other dropper right here so let's grab a block that is not a half slab put it there because we want our dropper right here put up and then we will put into another hopper now to power this dropper, we are just going to do what we did for this other one over here and come out on oh, come out on it, hold shift, and so we can put it down there like that. And we only need to power it so we can come right into itself there. Within doing so, what we need to do is we need to run well we'll run this comparator here first if I can get under it. Yeah, I thought that was good just fly here and get down so we'll do that and I always like to go into a block instead of redstone into a repeater into redstone down and then into a repeater here with redstone here and that will just kick an item up into that and into this one now we need to power that one we do it the exact same way we just come out like so this then we can put our comparator down into oops, into our block into our repeater with some redstone here like so and then we just need to put another repeater down and that will power those what this will do is if this gets power it'll send it to this block power in this repeater powering all of this which powers itself turning it off and powering this kicking out an item so if there's more than one item, when it turns off, it'll instantly turn back on, starting it all again. So it just creates a clock. So that's that part of the intake there. Now we just need to run over these two here, which you see we went up there. So we just come down here, and we run like this, over to there, and then 
will fly for a second so we can get down over here and then we just run them off this way and you see they're each pointing into each other so that allows us to run the item straight through them over alright almost there and then we just need to add some here for these ones here they may jump over and make it into that system but I don't want to chance it so we just connect them with those and there that is pretty much the whole thing now we just need to light it up we can set up if you want you can set up hoppers on top of each of these with a chest on top of each of those and then anything you put in you've got extra storage let's go ahead and just set that up since I do like to do that and we'll just throw some chests on here and we're just doing one now if we want to do if we want to do two wide uh, we can we can um, use a trap chest and you can just do two wide both one that way and one this way and that would be just fine so now all we need to do is set up the front and set up the power and then we could cover it and build a nice building if we want so let's go ahead and grab some chiseled cord and some regular quartz put up these we need some lights we don't need torches anymore we don't need that we just need repeaters redstone lights and these all right let's get to it so we're going to use regular quartz blocks for this as you saw in my other one i used the pillars but that's okay now we just make our frame like that i think one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we did want to come out one more there just to keep it even. Um, let's see here, now we need to add in our chiseled quartz block. Thank you for becoming daytime. So with this, we'll jump up one and over here and up one. Let's go ahead and add these here come up one more now you don't have to go up this high you don't have to build it like this you can there are many other ways to build it this is just the way I like building it I think this is, it's I think it's neat but let's see here we just keep dropping these down Oop, not that guy all right then we put our lamps in we want that guy in there then we come back and add in well we can add signs in there too if we want but we're just going to put these on front of here and then we just need to finish running our half slabs over use half slabs so the chest can still open oh. <laughs> let's break more than what I want huh? so we'll just run these over like so. Oh. Oh, I didn't. I. There should be two here instead of one. That's okay. We can go into this block. It will still do the same thing. So it's not a big deal. We will continue with this instead of breaking everything out and doing that. All right. So now that we have all that run, we need to run our power for these we want to run repeaters off of each of these blocks so we just come in here run a repeater here like this and then we're just gonna go ahead and run all of our repeaters we just want to zigzag down it and repeater here and a repeater there and then we will just continue on this line here like this and we'll come down and continue this on way we'll come back and do our redstone here in just a minute oh you yeah, know you could if you want you could just run repeaters I just that would take a lot of repeaters this is just not as much so once we're done with this, we're pretty much done. Then we would just need to add whatever building around it. Let's not have that on a tick. 
you can it won't hurt anything really it'll just delay the light going on and off all right now if we put something in this chest here let's go ahead and put a sign in it that'll tick on now our light over here is on now if we add that was our magenta wool so if we add our magenta wool here this light will go off and we'll get our item out of this dropper here there we go well I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching